right, in today's episode of Caitlin in the Kitchen, we're going to make some Thai-style peanut noodles from every plate. Let's go ahead and get going. All right, so we've got our limes prepared. We've got our snap peas prepared. We've got our onion prepped. And we've got water waiting to boil. So the first step is just to prep all of your produce and all of that is good to go. So when the water starts boiling, we're going to add the noodles and then start making the sauce, which I low-key am probably gonna just mix up the sauce right now. All right, here is our finished product. We ended up putting the onions and the noodles in a pan with the charred snap peas. We put those in a pan, cooked them, and then dumped the sauce in, mixed it all up, topped it with some peanuts, and we're going to squirt it with a little bit of lime juice, and let's see how it tastes. All right, so we both really, really enjoyed the flavor of this dish. Um, this was probably the first one that we've had out of both kits that, like, actually had flavor that went all the way through. So, like, the flavor was in the sauce, and the sauce actually, like, got permeate, like, permeated the whole dish, and we could actually taste the sauce. Um, and... There is still probably like either one large serving or two smaller servings left. So it was true to portion size. My husband and I both had like one pretty moderate to large serving and we are both full and there's still more left. So portion sizes are great. And um, so it definitely gets like a 10 for that because there's leftover food. Um, flavor, I would say, was like an eight. Um, I just added like some little diced sesame seeds to it. Um, and then I did make up, like I used the rest of the peanut butter and a little bit of um, sweet Thai chili sauce that I just had to kind of make some extra sauce. And my husband used some of that. Um, but yeah, I think overall, I think this is the my favorite meal out of all the meal kit delivery meals that we've gotten. So this one is the one to beat right now. It was the Thai, the Thai style peanut noodles. My husband's only complaint was that he wished that it would have come with meat. And that is pretty standard over both of them. Um, if the recipe does not inherently call for meat, i.e. a pasta dish or a vegetarian option, such as the Southwest zucchini boats that we had, um, you have to pay extra for meat. So this one is technically considered a vegetarian option. Um, so you have to pay extra to make it meat. And I didn't select vegetarian. I selected like protein and dairy. Like we didn't put, so yeah, you can select same with the other meal kits. You can go in and say you want gluten, dairy free, vegan, vegetarian, pescatarian, whatever. We did not do that. I just put everything. And then how I chose the meals was I chose the meals that would not cost me extra. So I just went off the base plan, didn't select any premium meals. And to add meat to this meal, it would have cost anywhere from two to three dollars um, per serving. And again, if you watched my unboxing video, I said that my every plate meal kit box came and I got five <clears throat> five meals, four servings each, so 20 servings of food, and the price was like a dollar forty-nine or a dollar seventy-nine a serving. So the prices for the two kits were comparable, forty dollars and like thirty-nine um for the HelloFresh. So the every plate one was like forty dollars, but we got way more food with this every plate one, and there are more options for customization in terms of a number of meals and servings. So keep that in mind. Um, I will say too, the produce that we got in the every plate box was a little bit better quality, but I will be doing a full like compare and contrast video at a later date, but stay tuned for more in the, in the kitchen with Caitlin videos um, as I try out all these new recipes. See you next time.